<laughs> hey, first Monday, uh -huh. Monday night football game of the season. It is preseason, though. Also known as practice football, and this is certainly not what the Giants wanted to see happen. I think Newsday <laughs> got it right. The hit was legal, but let's be honest, it was also probably dirty, especially for this time of year. Giants taking on the Browns. This was in the second quarter. Odell Beckham going to make the catch down the right sideline. Brian Body Calhoun Oof. goes for the knees with his helmet. It, it, Beckham falls to his side. He, he hits his head. Clearly, something is hurting him. He takes his helmet off abruptly. Goes for a bit of a walk, clearly in pain. The slow motion shot kind of bothers me to watch a little bit. The good news is he, he did get up. He walked off, hobbling a little bit, staring down the, the brown sideline. Visible pain as he goes to the bench. And he wouldn't stay there long. There he is jogging off to the locker room. Giant staff would, would assist him here because this is when we started to think, oh, this is, this is serious. Down in pain, clearly cannot go anymore. He'd have to be carted off for x-rays. X-rays did come back negative, and the team is calling it just an ankle sprain. It feels like, you know, you're going to hurt your ankle. It's kind of what it feels like, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right? You, how do you know it'll be all right? Is that what they told you? No. Is that what they told you? That's what I know. That's what I know. High ankle sprain, low ankle sprain, Um, I didn't go to school, uh, you know, in anatomy and kinesiology. I'm not really a doctor, but I think they know the answer to that, so when you find out, let me know. Will you be ready for that? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, I'm pretty concerned, but I think I'll be all right. It definitely was a little bit of there. He returned to the sidelines in the second half. He was wearing street clothes, ankle wrapped up. His teammate Jarvis Landry, you can read it there for yourself. Can't imagine Ben McAdoo feels any different. If he can play, he'll play. If he can play, he'll play. Um, can't answer that question right now. And they're all geared up to face Eli Manning, but not Odell Beckham out with an ankle injury on Sunday night football. Al Michaels, Chris Donaldsworth. The Giants come off a good year. They were 11 and 5 into a four year playoff drought. They are a legitimate Super Bowl contender, but will have to do it tonight without a guy who caught 101 passes last season, Odell Beckham Jr. Through the blocked field goal once that made the difference. Third down and six. And that pass sails. Oh. And, then, and then somehow Beasley oh. makes the catch. Oh my God. The I've never seen that. I've never seen a guy catch it on his nameplate on the back. Watch this. It's going to pin into his back and he's going to get it pinned to Beasley and then keep his feet in the bounds. Oh my goodness. With Dak Prescott and you just see it paying off there. Yeah. Odell shaking. He's made, he's made a few in his time. Yeah. All right. The final score is 19 to 3. Dallas coming up next. Stick around for the Volkswagen post game report after these messages. Tonight, from MetLife Stadium in the Meadowlands of East Rutherford, New Jersey, the Detroit Lions take on the New York Giants and star wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr., who returns tonight after sitting out the season opener in Dallas eight nights ago with an ankle injury. Brett Jones has come in for New York. Odell Beckham Jr. The Giants have a long way to go for the first down. They throw the quick hitter, Odell Beckham Jr., Tripped up, yard return. Odell Beckham is back in action, but he hasn't done much tonight. Can he get this Giants offense going? In here, I mean, they really got lucky the Giants did. Detroit happened to be coming with an all-out blitz. They went run action right at it. Tight end playing a fullback position. Ledbetter, 98, a rookie from Arkansas. And here's Odell Beckham. His third catch of the night, and it goes for a first down. Freaking seven rushes for 10 yards. He catches the ball, but he's short of the first down. Rookie out of Florida, the injured player. He sideline. He'll be put through the concussion protocol. And here's the hit by Odell Beckham Jr. That's a block in the back. That's, That's an illegal block in the back. He can't miss that call. And I bet Jerry even agrees with me. I agree with you, Coach. That's an illegal play every down. And they're unselfish. On third and five, another conversion. Odell Beckham Jr. These straight incompletions for Manning, and now a must convert fourth down and 10 with four and a half minutes to go. 
Given time, throws, and it is incomplete. Stop. Beckham couldn't catch it. Even if he did, going to the ground for it, he was going to be about two yards short of the first down. That ball should have been caught. No question. That's hard to believe. Final score, the Detroit Lions 24, the New York Giants 10. Go ahead and try and convince the thermometer that it's late September. It is hot in Philadelphia for the home opener where the 0-2 Giants take on the 1-1 Eagles. Here's Beckham. And they are not going to give him that forward progress inside the 40, a gain of just two. Well, they're going to wreak havoc all year. Pass caught by Beckham for a first down. Good throw by Eli Manning. Quick throw, passes behind Beckham. What a catch. Shows off his great hands and then taps his old teammate at LSU, Jalen Mills. Park. Quick throw, pass caught inside the five and down on a knee is Beckham. Back to the interception. There's Michael Kendricks, and you're going to see the play that he's able to make. Eli just simply doesn't see him. He's flowing with the direction that Eli's looking. The ball's popped up in the air and, and picked off. And, you know, it's obviously a lot of frustration. This goes back to last season for a number of these players with an offense that had grown accustomed to having some success. There's a defensive struggle. That all changed last season. Ability to run the football, and it's continued here this year. Manning to the sideline has Beckham wide open and the catch is made. Number 13 just got his feet down. Quick snap. Out on the edge again. There's Beckham to midfield. Cards today. There's a drop. Odell Beckham Jr. dropped it. He was looking at some green grass in front of him. Yeah, you know, when you're an offense that's that's struggling, everything becomes hard. I mean, it really does. It becomes this is a big third down right now. Pass is caught as they go back to Beckham, who had a big game last year, 11 catches, 150 yards against the Eagles, it is starting to heat up a little bit. The Eagles in their home opener leading by 14. Back after this from your local Fox station. To Marshall. This one for Beckham has to wait. Got his feet down. Touchdown. What a catch. A flag is down on the far side of the field. Another look. just fantastic and it's such a great job by Odell Beckham Joe I thought in real time that that he was out of bounds I, I, I thought that Jalen Mills had forced him out and he he went up had to wait a little bit on that ball but to be able to then tap both toes before he went out that's a, that's him that's an impressive job after the score is over unsportsmanlike conduct offense number 13 the score counts and the 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Well, for a moment, it looked like it was going to be offsetting fouls. But with that, and then whatever they call, because now they have to be basically dance judges, yeah, that, that's the part that got him the unsportsmanlike conduct call. It's just, that's not, that's not smart. That's just dumb football. It's unbelievable. I mean, these guys know. They go through. They all want to celebrate and dance and do their thing, and the league lets them, and... They know what they can and can't do. So you score a touchdown, now you cut it to a one possession game and you make a silly mistake like that and, and it hurts your football team. It's just selfish. Mm. A touchdown and it will count. And then the unsportsmanlike conduct call for the classless celebration by Beckham afterward. Plenty of time left in this game as Odell Beckham gets the touchdown. Eagles by seven. Well, we've been watching the sideline for the Giants. At no point did Ben McAdoo, by our watch, go over and say anything to Odell Beckham after the personal foul for his touchdown celebration, which cost his team 15 yards. 
Odell well, Beckham Jr. was just doing his thing over on the sideline and really hasn't stopped talking. Nobody came over to say anything to him. Well, he seemed to be amused by it all and was smiling and nobody uh, nobody really had much to say about it now. Now you know, finally this just happened with Ben McAdoo coming over and telling him to stop. Yeah, and, and, and where does Manning go? To the corner, pass is caught for the touchdown, Beckham. What a catch by Odell Beckham Jr. After the turnover, a chance to tie it. A one-handed grab. And did he secure it before going out of bounds? Doesn't have it yet. That's the question. I mean, when are they going to determine that he has possession of the ball? Working on his college teammate, Jalen Mills. I think he's got possession there. And he's dragging that left foot. Mike Pereira is watching in Los Angeles. What did you think? Watching and Mike, and this is a catch. He actually gets the ball. He does not have possession, but gets it pinned against his shoulder. And as he goes to the ground, he just switches, puts a second hand on the ball, but he maintains control. And we clearly think this is a touchdown. Yeah, it sure looks that way. And, and maybe not as good as pinning the ball against your helmet, a la David Tyree, but that's awfully good. One-handed. I agree with Mike. It, it sure looks like right here when he pins it against his shoulder pad that he's got it. Left toe drags. It's a great catch. And a cleaner celebration after the touchdown as he stood with one fist raised in the end zone by Ertz. Knocked out by Landon Collins, recovered by Eli Apple. And then Eli to Beckham. This game all of a sudden tied at 14. Eli airs it out. Beckham downfield. Flag is thrown two of them as Beckham got into it with Jalen Mills I think they're gonna get Mills there was contact when the ball was in the air Mills is trying to say maybe it's on Odell and right there it after the fair offense number 13 two yard penalty replay first time yeah, I like it Troy when it's against the Giants they love it when it's against Odell Beckham yeah. on a slant route free release third and three down the sideline for Beckham, and he's interfered with. Jenkins was down there in coverage, along with Jalen Mills. Pass interference. Defense, number 27. Fire the foul, automatic. First down. You see Jalen Mills, he's looking inside, and the ball snapped. He gets beat immediately, and Jenkins trying to get over the top, but Jenkins has been in the league long enough to play that ball better than that. To just go in on Odell Beckham and take him out. I, I'm not so sure that had he have been able to turn around and, and this is not good for the Giants. He got up and then as he's walking off, you can see he's calling for somebody to, you can see he's calling for somebody to take his spot. You wonder if he's just out of breath. And in this case with around five minutes left, just took a seat as opposed to something being wrong injury-wise, but we'll just wait and find out. You know, when they hey, when they brought out Odell Beckham, <laughs> they brought him out back there, there were about 11 guys in green jerseys that puckered up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it, it, you can return it. And then it's a free-for-all. The career-long in college for Elliott, 56. This to win it and become an instant hero in Philadelphia. Jake Elliott. Is it good? It is good! Philadelphia wins it! Sixty one yards to win it. That is.
is the longest field goal made in the 15 year history of Lincoln Financial Field. And it belongs to the rookie Jake Elliott. The Giants are 0 3. Can you, can you describe the two touchdown celebrations? You obviously got penalized for that one, and then you held your fist up for the other. Can you tell us just what you were thinking? Uh, I'm just excited to be in the end zone. And what about the fist raise? What about it? Just did, did it have a particular meaning for you? Did it? Did it? Did it look like it? It did, and I'm asking okay. you to describe well, it. I'd rather hear it in your it, words than well, mine. If it looked like it, then it might have been something. Oh, no, why what would you do that the with first, the uh, with the, the celebration? celebration. It appeared that you were you were pantomiming peeing like a dog. I mean, why would you do that? What 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 motivated you to? I don't know. I was in the end zone. I scored a touchdown. I'm a dog, so I acted like a dog. Um, I don't really know. I didn't know if the rule book said you can't hike your leg. Um, he said I peed on somebody, so I was I was trying to find the imaginary ghost that I peed on, um, but I didn't see him. But either way it goes, you play football. Uh, I, I wear red and white. I don't wear black and white with stripes on it. I don't make calls. I just play football. In your opinion, that's that's all right with you? You don't think it's anything wrong with it? He did, 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 did Ben say anything to you? We needed to make a play. We're down, what, 14 nine? Okay, we need to make a play. We need a spark. I don't care if you kick it from the five-yard line on our side. We need to make it a play. It does pick up a penalty. I mean, it, it does. Could hurt, it could hurt you. It I could. Mean, it rose a couple days. It didn't end up being detrimental, which is the main thing. Did you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say get that son of a bitch off the field right now out he's fired Christina Pink. Christina. Well, thank you, Kenny. As you can see, the rain is already coming down. Another game for the Giants and another game week where Odell Beckham Jr. has captured all the national headlines. Well, no surprise there, right? He's an emotional guy and certainly one who made headlines with his touchdown celebration. But his teammates say it doesn't bother him when he shows that emotion on the sideline. When I talked to Beckham in warm-ups today, he told me that I used to let all that outside noise get to me from social media, but it doesn't bother me anymore. He said, I'm an emotional guy. I'm passionate about the game. I love the game. And for me, I don't mind if that makes people uncomfortable. Back to you, Kenny. All right, thanks very much, Christina. See the rain that has started to come down here in Tennessee. Believe the teammate of Odell Beckham Jr. And this is Beckham. Breaks away from one tackle. And takes it to the 40-yard line. Two yards shy of the mark. A gain of eight as we head to Los Angeles for a game break. Check as well. Second down and five. As Manning throws, it's Beckham. Stays away, stays on his feet. Another 360 into Buccaneers territory. He's just so athletic and elusive. It's like playing with the joystick out there. By has the freedom to just toss it out to him. And and then he's going to make people miss. I mean, the guy is just dynamic. I, I love describing him. I've never done an Odell Beckham game. It's hard to put in words exactly what he is. It's just impressive. Manning fires, and the catch is made by Odell Beckham, Jr. Another quick out, it's Beckham. Step on the Grimes, out of bounds at the 43. And just getting a lot of space from the Bucks' corners. Manning fires on third down, and the catch is made by Beckham. For a first down to the Bucks, 30. He snatched that one out of the hand, out of the air there. All hands catch. For him, that's a... Good football play there. The technique on both sides was good. You saw the variation in the route running by Odell Beckham. Change of speed. Good execution by the Giants. 
Can you show us what you were talking about? Yeah, it's always used to carry the ball out this way. It's it's, it's available for the defender. <laughs> you hold it high and tight, almost able to grab your your face mask. And when you go into the to the ground, this is the most important thing. Wrap yourself up, and everybody knows it. There's Odell talking to you before the game, saying, "Hey, I know I know where that came from." I love it. Giants trailing by five here in Tampa. Manning again with time, firing downfield for Beckham. He's got it. Cover four. So when you get a vertical release, you see the safety drive up, leave Vernon Hargraves all by himself, and he just can't keep up with the foot speed of Odell Beckham and just a fantastic catch. 42 yards, biggest play of the day for the Giants on offense as Beckham hobbles off following his sixth reception. We talked about that earlier. He still is nursing that ankle. When Beckham was asked about the ankle week one, he said it might be a six to eight week type thing. Yeah, these things are not quite high ankle sprains, but as you see there, as he catches that football, he extends and lands hard. All his body weight is on that joint. He's back out on the field. He's a baller. He's a gamer, man. We know this about him. The Giants need him right now. Manning looking for Beckham. Too far. Grimes defending. He wants a penalty. This is just great coverage by Brent Grimes. Again, similar cover four, but Brent Grimes is on top of it. He wants pass interference. That's not pass interference, young man. Doesn't mean you can't ask for it, Rondé. First and ten from the 18-yard line on the slant. It's back of a spin. That is brought down at the 10 after a gain of eight. Another example of Eli Manning just being able to pull up, seeing the available space there, taking it, giving it to Odell, and he's down on the ground again. And I, I had one of these, if you remember, back yeah. in college, and you could play through it. It's just an ankle injury, but it's 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 a little thing, like a little tweak, and. Your ankle just wants to give out. It's so much pain, it's hard to deal with. And you just hope that he's okay. I mean, he's continuing to take shots on it. You see Chris Conti going low for that tackle and get on his ankle. Yeah. This is what we talked about early in the game, Rondé. Leading back at, heads back off. He's their leading receiver now. I mean, he was quiet early in the football game. That's his seventh catch for 90 yards. And assume that it was down. And Odell Beckham is back into the football game. You're right, he's a gamer. It, again, it's that quick, sharp pain that you feel when you go down with those ankles. And he doesn't even go to the huddle. He just... Manning looking to throw on third and goal to the end zone. Touchdown! Red Ellison! This is a great play call. You put your quarterback... So the Giants going for two. Beckham went out wide to the right. Kareem in the backfield. As Manning throws back of the end zone to Beckham, he's got it. And now another official comes in and says no. I think he may have stepped on the white here. I think that's why the white hat, uh, the, why the hat is on the ground right. in the back of the end zone. Which means he stepped out, came back in. Yeah, they're doubling Odell Beckham. That's Justin Evans, the rookie, having to play safety here. And we get a look down the line. We're not going to see it from this pitcher, but... You got to trust that he saw what he thought he saw on that back line, and Odell Beckham stepped into white, so he is an ineligible receiver. Right, the official in the back of the end zone. A loss of down. The illegal touch carries a loss of down. That penalty will be accepted. Therefore, the cry is no good. Right. Because you would think that in some ways, some more space here might benefit the Giants on a second attempt as a two-point conversion. Then, of course, not converting that try, a field goal wins this football game. So. Again, setting up for a very exciting finish here in Tampa. Only four seconds. They have a timeout. Full from 34 yards out for the win. Oh, it is good. Just inside. There was a flag thrown. Looks to be against the Giants. Offside. Defense. 21, that is, is this close enough for you? Oh my goodness, three misses to the right, comes over the top, pulls it almost outside the left upright, but at the end of the day, it's a game winner for Dick Folk and the Bucks go to 2-1 and one on the season. What a great game, what a great win for Dirk Cutter and his Bucks team. Dick Folk.
Goes from GOAT to HERO. Game winner just inside the left upright. Back in a moment. So the Buccaneers go to 2 and 1. Giants drop to 0 and 4 for the fifth time in franchise history. Beginning with the Simpsons. Odell Beckham Jr. with some great plays for the Giants today. Bucks win it. Giants lose on a last second field goal for the second straight Sunday. And again, he would return on the drive. Manning, Beckham, tackled. He's slow to get up. He's been banged up this whole game, it looks like. Beckham got his ankle twisted up. He'd, he'd check out for a few plays. Now, here's what Beckham had to say about that injury. But the pain that you go through right then and there, you'll, you'll overcome it. Um, just at the time, it, it was something that you know, scares me for a second. It's the same, same motion that happened. So, I'm all right. JB East Coast versus West Coast today in New Jersey. It is a long road back from 0-4 in the NFL. Both the Chargers and Giants are in complete desperation mode. Week 5, the NFL on CBS, L.A. and New York at MetLife Stadium. Welcome. Let's check it with Evan Washburn. Evan? Well, Ryan, you guys have touched on that right index finger injury for Odell Beckham Jr. He dislocated it last week. I just spoke with him, and he's really concerned because, guys, he's still in a ton of pain. All that treatment all week, all for naught, because he said he cannot get rid of the pain. There's no pain injection he can get because the area is too small. He's still back and forth on whether or not to buddy tape it to that middle finger. But it's something to watch throughout this game, guys. He was very upset in pregame warm-ups. And Evan, he he leaned on his left hand more this week in practice. He said he can't do that in the game. Beckham, the motion man, they give it to him. Jet sweep for Beckham. Beckham, the zigzag move. And he has stood up there with words exchanged short of the first down. Trey Boston in two. Fake it. Manning. The hands by Beckham. And a flag down. A little slant route. Good coverage, though, by Trevor Brian Williams. He's right Holy there. Number 24, defense. It's a double There's catch by Beckham, but he hung on. First down. Penalty against the Chargers. First down, Giants. It's absolutely the worst possible injury for a receiver who is, happens to be dominant. Now, this is uh, Odell Beckham's day so far. Check him working out on that uh, right index finger. Perhaps his bad ankle has slowed him down on that one. They're using him on the ground as he rushed there for about eight yards. Super catch over the middle. But just that one catch for 13 yards for Odell Beckham so far. And Ian Harris's workload is going to pick up in this second half because Sterling Shepard and Brandon Marshall are out for the rest of the game, both with a left ankle injury. I talked to Ben McAdoo about that. He said, all hands on deck, next man up. We've heard all that. But, guys, it's really humid down here, and that group is now thin. Odell obviously already banged up, so that'll be worth monitoring. I'll give you Lynn's thoughts on the first half after this play. Manning, quick hitter for Beckham. And Beckham hit by Jatavis Brown. Line of scrimmage is 32. Manning a deep drop. Manning throws to Beckham. And Odell Beckham Jr. Stiff arm pulls back against Hayward. 15 yards. But First did, down Giants. Did you notice how when he went out of bounds, he was going to stiff arm Hayward, but he, with his right hand, he obviously thought more about uh, how sore it might be to pull that hand away. It's the index finger on that right hand for Beckham, and he told us this week, that's actually been more painful than the ankle injury that was originally suffered in the preseason, was the quarterback coach. Bootleg, Manning looks downfield, throws to a spot, caught by Beckham. First down, Giants. And you may be down all of these receivers, but you still have one of the best in the game. Really sharp cut there, kind of leaves Hayward hanging there. And Manning throwing on the run, perfect timing, good for 15 yards. Were you surprised how many of the Giants that we sat down with brought up the Green Bay playoff game? It feels like it's still hanging around because they haven't won since. Huge disappointment last year. Beckham in particular, 
He carried so much negative energy with him into the offseason. And Beckham told us he thought he was going to come back, have the best season of his career. That was his mindset after the disappointment in what he deemed the worst game of his career against the Packers. But the fluke injury in the preseason, that threw off the schedule. And he's still trying to get himself right. Obviously, the finger injury last week has not helped. Well, they're going to have to count on him throughout the second half with all the injuries they've had. No question. Fourth quarter in a one-point game. Here comes the blitz. Manning sidesteps. Manning throws deep, wide open. Bye-bye, Beckham. Touchdown, Giants. Forty-eight yards. Manning to Beckham. Watch number 20 coming free. For some reason, jumps up into the air instead of going for Manning, and he's going to pay for it along with his team as Casey Hayward goes for the little out-and-up move. And Beckham is going to give some life to this Giants deep offense. And now the Giants will go for two with a 22-17 lead, trying to put themselves in front by seven. The Beckham. Manning pats the ball, throws well high for Beckham with two defenders in the area. Hayward and a die. And the Giants' lead is five. Manning to Beckham to put Big Blue in front. 142 rushing yards. Manning, oh, through the hands of Beckham. And fortunate that it wasn't intercepted. All the injuries the Giants have dealt with at wide receiver, and now it's Beckham who's down. They've lost Marshall. They've lost Shepard. They've lost Harris. Odell Beckham Jr. on the ground. It's a slant route thrown a little bit high by Eli Manning. Oh, and you can see that left ankle underneath the Charger tackler. And that's the ankle that he injured in the preseason. This one is really serious, though. Still hasn't caught a pass. Had 19 coming in. And they still haven't been able to find a way to rely on somebody other than a wide receiver. They've never seen this before, though. Ian. Beckham up on his feet. On the cart, clutching that left ankle area. Beckham despondent. Now yeah, there's the physical pain, obviously, but it, also the mental frustration and disappointment. Already Marshall out, Shepard out, Harris reports of a broken foot. That's four wide receivers hurt in one day. And meanwhile, the Giants face a third and seven, grasping to a two-point lead with four minutes to play. And it could have been a third and 20 or a fourth and 10. Chargers elected for the fourth and 10. Last chance. Manning steps up. It's intercepted. Picked off by Trey Boston. And that's it. The Chargers win their first game of the season. And the Giants drop to 0 and 5. The Giants lost five games all of last regular season. They've lost five in the first five weeks this season. And now they're going to have to find out where there are some wide receivers to play on this offense. The Giants continue to search for answers. And the injuries piling up. Mistakes galore. For Dan Fouts and Evan Washburn, Ian Eagle saying so long from the Meadowlands. We'll go to New York. The State Farm postgame show is coming up. The Chargers over the Giants, 27-22 to win their first game of the season. So the Giants dropped to 0-5. And, and again, we don't know exactly what happened in terms of the severity of the injury to Odell Beckham Jr., but it looked bad, and it was that same ankle, uh, Nate. Yeah, and it's a slant route right here, and I'll tell you this, that oh. Odell is one of the best slant route runners in the game. 
So even if he does bounce back from this, whenever that will be, will he still be able to do the things that he's been able to do before? But aside from the injury, how are they going to bring that type of energy, that electricity? Because even when he's not getting the ball, he provides Great such point. a charge to yeah. the squad. I don't want to go out on a limb here, but I, but I guess I, I'll have to. I just don't necessarily know that we'll ever I, we'll see him back again this year. That was a significant injury. It's the same ankle. And I think if you're the Giants, why would you even risk putting him back out on the field late in the season for a meaningless a, game? Well, it's a great example. He was holding out this offseason why players hold out and know their value mm. and get their contract because things like this can happen. Talk about so it. it's tough. And that's the part. Aaron Rodgers runs, the VP walks, but first we have breaking news in New York and Houston, the kind that requires x rays. Odell Beckham Jr. fractured his ankle on Sunday during their loss. A source told ESPN he'll get a second opinion before deciding on surgery. Same ankle he injured during the preseason. Giants are 0 5. Now their best player oh. might be done for the year. And again, not the first big injury on Sunday. Carted off the field Sunday after suffering the injury on this play. Giants are 0-5. So you got up for the catch, fell awkwardly. Charger players immediately called for medical help. They knew. He had five catches, 97 yards up to that point, a touchdown. The fourth Giants wide receiver to be injured against the Chargers, Eli Manning and the Giants upset. I don't want to see uh, any receivers go down, and uh, you know, knew, you know, you know, looked like he was in some pain. So, um, you know, just just told him be, be thinking about him, and, and um, you know, obviously don't know the severity of it, but uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, be okay. When they all go down, when you lose players, it's it's tough. Um, you know, I was, you know, you like when they can, you know, get off on their own, and you hope it's not serious. But uh, yeah, you know, at end of the game, and and you know, you. Uh, you see your best player in pain, it's a, it can be a tough situation. Tough sport. Odell Beckham mm -hmm. Jr. has missed games in three of his first four NFL seasons. Hamstring issue delayed the start of his rookie year. Missed a game in 2015. That was a suspension following the Josh Norman dust-up. Giants are two and four in the six games he's missed, including a loss in week one this season against the Cowboys. Ben McAdoo, who could you? You look, uh, you look in the mirror. Um, you know, you, you learn a lot about yourself in times like these. Uh, so you got to work for yourself. you got to work for your teammates. Uh, we're all pros. Uh, this is what we get paid to do. We get paid to win, not just compete. So we got to find a way to win. Yeah, they could, they could use that. Chargers on the road get their first victory. They're 1-4, 27-22. The Giants 0-5 for the second time in five years, if you're wondering how surprising that is. Entering the season, New York had 12-1 to odds to win. That pro football championship tied with Dallas for fifth best odds in the league. Giants first win might not come until after their bye. They play at Denver next Sunday night before hosting the Seahawks in week seven.